Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we're going to be talking about the current season of Ranked Sprint. And boy, it's, uh, it's kind of a mess, I'm, I'm not going to lie, and it's kind of dumb. And yeah, we're going to get into that right now. So, as most of you know, and if you don't, the current season of Ranked Sprint is in arms race mode. And I, for one, actually like arms race. It's, we've played it, what, three, four times now? Uh, it's been... It's been ranked sprints for the last two seasons, I think, and then we also had the Savage Battles, which was pretty much Arms Race, and for a couple other special events, we've had Arms Race. I think they've done enough testing with Arms Race to where it can be thrown into the random battles uh, rotations, because, I mean, we do still only have three modes in this game. This game's been out now for... Yeah, well over five years, so it's it's time that we get some new battle modes into our normal rotation. Arms race should certainly be th be thrown in there, and again, it's fun. It's a fun mode to play in a game that is an arcade style game. Despite what people say about historical accuracy and this and that, this is an arcade style game, and that's why I like it. So this definitely needs to be thrown to the standard rotation now and just stop being used for rank battles and again for like these ranked sprints you know it's okay for that but if they, they they don't need to do it like like it's like this season anymore this season's rough and there's a one main reason for that and that is it's 12v12 12v12 ranked battles is just depressing it is outright depressing uh, i was playing it with some of the clan members the first night it came out and oh my god some of the teams that i got with some of the players that were for some reason all the way down at rank since six and seven already good sweet jesus some of the decisions they made there was an instance where i got a yammy down to 3000 health and then i died and for some reason a thunderer a hindenburg and a zao they, for whatever reason, were unable of shooting a 3k yammy that was right in front of them. And they decided they wanted to shoot the Des Moines that was hugging the island. That they could only see his bow. But the yammy, in full plain view, they didn't want to shoot that. They wanted to shoot the full health Des Moines. And that is one of many instances I've had of, of just complete derp teams. 12v12... Your individual effort is not felt as much in 12v12 as in the normal 7v7 mode. In 7v7, the individual player's contribution to the game is much is, is felt much more than in a 12v12 mode. Now, don't get me wrong, there have been some pretty impressive carries in 12v12s and randoms and, and in this season of ranked that, that, that I've seen, but it's much less likely to, to happen in that 12v12 mode versus 7v7. And... Yeah, it's whew, it's messy because all this is really done. It's 12v12. It's tier nine and tier ten ships. This is literally just random battles, but in ranked. That that's all it is. This is literally tier nine and ten random battles, in arms race mode, and they're calling it ranked. And is that a bad thing? No, it, this is just a sprint season, so it's not no big deal. It's not the main ranked season, if you will. So it's not that big of a deal, but it is just an absolute pain trying to grind up because I obviously want that coal and trying to grind to that coal with these teams. It's absolutely whoo. And of course, the teams are the way they are because just about all of us are in quarantine because of Rona. So it's like it's been a giant weekend for the past three or so months and the ranked is not help this rank season is not helping <laughs> ease that tension of being stuck inside for most of us and i said this a, a couple of videos ago and there was a comment made about how this person was very upset about people saying everyone's stuck in quarantine because they were an essential worker and you know um i, I feel that i worked in a grocery store for six years putting myself through college and in the part of the country that I live in, it's very prone to hurricanes. And anytime there's any type of hurricane or tropical storm that would come through down here, 
you know, working in a grocery store when, every, when everyone's rushing to get water and canned food and stuff, it's rough. It, it, it is. And I, I've been through, through that. So to that person, I'm sorry that for w whatever reason, you know, I struck that nerve with you. But just understand that I understand what you're going through because, you know, hurricanes, they don't last. I mean, th they aren't very short things. It's often a two to three week endeavor of the hurricane approaching people, people panic buying and then the recovery afterwards and I can imagine what that is going on for three months so I completely un understand your situation but just do understand that when I say everybody or most of us I mean there is a large chunk of the population that just isn't able to go out anymore and they are staying at home and playing things like World Warships more so that's what I mean when I say that I didn't mean to step on anybody's toes or anything like that so anyway yeah it's been a giant weekend for the past three months and you know, I was kind of hoping that this ranked season would kind of be like the 1v1 ranked season where we wouldn't lose stars when we lost. Because it is infuriating for you to do amazingly well. And the game you're watching now, for example, I do over 150,000 damage in, in GK. And I likely would have gotten, if, if I had enough time, I probably would have been, this probably would have been a well over 200,000 damage game. But because my team just couldn't get it together, as you've been watching, you notice that they're all sitting behind islands and they're sticking out on the, they're sticking over on the eastern side of the map and they're, they're staying there. As you can see, me and another GK, we circled back because, you know, we knew that the capture zone was going to pop up. And it's a 10 point tick that moves very fast. I think it's every two seconds, if not. And that's not every second, it's like every two to three seconds. And we moved back in order to, to secure it. And when we tried to secure it, well, they had a small and a Venezia there. And, you know, GK loves to catch on fire. So being a filthy battleship main and having a small lens that wants to burn you kind of sucks. And since the team wasn't in a position to support us, we couldn't do anything. We were forced to fall back and try to take an alternate route into the cap. And I'm not sure exactly where you're in the replay, but it should be around that part to where we're trying to flank around and get into the cap where we still have some semblance of island cover to where we can at least contest the points and hopefully our team would get it together. But our team did not get it together and we'll, well, you can surmise what happens from there. So it really feels like this ranked season, it's just like the random battles. It's blowout matches left and right. One team just walks over the other. I've yet to seen a close game this ranked season. And ranked, for the most part, was normally full of, the full seasons at least, is normally full of pretty close games and pretty good games because you are doing skill-based matchmaking. But, you know, and it could have a lot to do that I have been playing mostly during the first couple of days of ranked, so everyone hasn't had really time to fall to where they should be according to their skill level. But, I mean, some of the matches I've played, according to these people's ranked, it's, supposed, it's supposedly pretty close, but it's still a blowout because teams and such. But And I don't like blaming the teams, but it's what it is. When you have one team that can get it together and one team that can't, I mean, you can't do a lot, especially in a 24-player game mode when you're just one ship. Now, divving together, which is allowed this season, you can div up with one buddy, and I've tried that, and yeah, it's improved because you have two t two people, you know, ideally on comms, be it Discord or whatever other voice chat app you're using, and coordinating, and yeah, that's a lot better. That does increase your chances, and that is my suggestion to you guys, if you're going to try and play ranked, do try and find a buddy, get on voice comms, and you're going to have to put some work in, especially if you're on that team that isn't going to shine as bright as the other team is. And that's what this ranked season is like. It's kind of dumb. And it just feels like random battles, but you lose your ranking if you lose. Rather, where in random battles, I mean, you don't really lose anything unless you're grinding for PR, but I've never been one to care about my stats that much, but again, this rank season, I know I want that coal because I want the Thunderer. And, you know, 5,000 coal is, that's that's a good chunk of coal that I that would give me a lot closer to Thunderer. But anyway, guys, that's my opinion on this season of Ranked. Um, it's 
yeah, it's pretty dumb. If you're going to play it, make sure you bring a buddy with you. Um, I'm going to keep at it because, again, I want to get that goal. And let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this season of Ranked. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Do you have a lot of the same experience that I am? So let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during these times. And I hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.